When I was playing the game Nobunaga's Ambition the other day, I realized a lot of Ikran was depicted as female. As I became interested in finding out more about the female Lord of E-Clan, I rode a few trains including an anime themed one, a taxi, and a bicycle. I visited all the places that had bits and pieces of clues that revealed who she was and how she became a samurai lord. This is the legend of Inautora. The tragedy of Inautora begins with the Battle of Okehazama. To find out what happened to E-Clan during the Battle of Okehazama in 1542, I started my journey at Nagoya, one of the biggest towns in Japan. Being fluent in Japanese has nothing to do with whether you can get to where you want to go in the Japanese train system in a strange city. I had a tough time finding out where I had to go, but the railroad employees were very kind to tell me where I was supposed to go. I rode the Meitetsu Express line from Nagoya Station to Narumi Station then transferred the Meitetsu regular line to get to Arimatsu station. Interestingly, this was almost exactly the same route that Oda Nobunaga, the leader of Oda clan, took during the Battle of Okehazama. The first thing they tell you after getting off the train is that this was the place where there was a huge turn of the event in the Japanese history. The Battle of Okehazama is one of the most famous battles of all the samurai history. 23,000 men of Imagawa clan invaded Owari province to crush Oda clan with only 3,000 men. To Imagawa Yoshimoto, this was supposed to be an easy battle to be won, because not only Imagawa clan is outnumbering Oda clan, but the rumor suggested Oda Nobunaga was supposed to be utsukemono or stupid. E clan's leader, E Naomori, sided with Imagawa clan. During the Battle of Okehazama, this is where E Naomori deployed his troops. What Imagawa did not realize until the Battle of Okehazama was that Oda Nobunaga was not stupid, but he was just thinking outside the box. Now I'll move to the site where Oda Nobunaga defeated his opponent, Imagawa Yoshimoto, in the Battle of Okehazama. It's six minutes away from here, by walking. Oda Nobunaga's surprise attack directly hit Imagawa's main camp to behead Imagawa Yoshimoto. E Naomori's troops were also so close to Imagawa's main camp that E Naomori was also killed in battle. So how did the outcome of the Battle of Okehazama affect the clan? The clan's original plan was for Naomori to succeed. However, because Naomori did not have a son, he planned to have his cousin to succeed him by making him a son-in-law by having his daughter Naotora to marry him. After the Battle of Okehazama, not only Naomori was killed in battle, Naomori's two uncles were also executed by Imagawa clan for suspicion of treason. Naochika felt his life was also in danger, so he postponed his marriage to Naotora and took refuge to Takeda clan for his security. During the 11 years in refugee, whether he survived was also hidden in secret. Not knowing whether her fiancé is alive for 11 years, Naotora finally gave up on Naochika and became a Buddhist nun at Ryotanji temple. In 1555, Naochika finally returned from refugee to become E clan's heir. But because Naotora had already become a Buddhist nun, she could not easily come back to secular life to marry Naochika. So Naochika married Hiyo from a neighboring clan. 
and had a child named Toramatsu. Then in 1563, when Toramatsu was only two years old, Naochika was assassinated by Imagawa clan for suspicion of treason. Then in the same year, Naohira was killed in another battle. The only remaining adult members of E clan, Nanke Zuimon and Naotora, discussed their situation and made three decisions. One, Naotora to discard her Buddhist name, Jiron Hoshi, to officially become Naotora, which means pure tiger. Two, Naotora to succeed E clan until Toramatsu becomes old enough. And three, Hio and Toramatsu to take refugee to Horaiji Temple for their safety. Naotora's intention was to act as interim leader of E clan until Toramatsu was ready to succeed her in the future. To see Inoue Castle that Naotora started becoming the master of, and to visit Ryotanji Temple, which is the family temple of E Clan, I hopped on a train to get to Toyohashi Station on Meitetsu Line and then Tokaido Line to get to Shinjobara Station. Then, transferred to Tenryu Hamanako Line to go around Lake Hamana to get to Kanesashi Station. This is what I saw there. This character is supposed to be the personification of freshwater eel. Apparently, Lake Hamana is famous for farming eel. You can see she's wearing a hat that resembles freshwater eel. Unagi no kabayaki, or grilled eel with sweet soy sauce, is one of the best foods you can eat in Japan. If you're in Japan during the summer, I highly recommend trying one. So I arrived at Kanesashi Station only to realize that the bus had just gone and I would have had to wait for another hour to ride one. Not willing to waste time just waiting for the next bus, I took my next step. <laughs> I found out this town rented bicycles for only 500 yen per day. You will have to pay extra 1000 yen as insurance but you get it back when you return the bicycle. I don't know if it's a common practice to rent bicycles in small towns in Japan like Kanesashi, but I found it very useful to ride one instead of just sitting and hoping the bus would come anytime soon in the summer heat. So I'm at Ia Castle. It's supposed to be 15 minutes hiking from the top of the mountain or where the castle used to be. The earlier in the samurai period, the more samurai castles were built on mountains and hills for their military purposes. With bows and arrows as samurai's main weapons in the early days, it was easier to defend if you had the high ground. But in later samurai period, when samurais were not only the military warriors, but also the politicians and economists, the castles were increasingly built on flat areas, so it was easier for them to commute and have meetings with guests like bureaucrats, merchants, and diplomatic agencies from other samurai domains, making it easier for them to govern the area. Just by the fact that it takes a lot of hiking to get to Inoue Castle's remains, tell you the depth of history E clan went through as a samurai clan to govern this domain for a long, long time. Hey. You're here. This is where Ia Castle once stood. Look at the view. Nice. Woo. Look, you can see. Ryotanji Temple back there. There is a document kept at Ryotanji Temple that gives you a clue to Naotora's personality. Imagawa clan, still the powerful daimyo in the region even after losing the Battle of Okehazama, ordered all the dead samurais were in to be written off so samurais in his region could prepare for more battles. This document written by Naotora proves that she refused to carry out Imaga's order to save Ryotanji Temple and merchants and other commoners who rented money to samurais to take all the losses for more fighting. 
Naotora's move was a clear defiance to Imagawa's rule. Naotora had enough of Imagawa clan who made her family so miserable to give her more orders. After two years of Naotora's defiance, Imagawa clan dismissed Naotora as the master of Inuya castle and placed Ono Masatsugu as the new master. Ono Masatsugu had served E clan as the chief minister, but he was actually the bad guy responsible for Naotsuka's death by tattletailing to Imagawa clan of the questionable fear of treason. Ono Masatsugu's ambition to become the master of Inuya castle was achieved by buttering up Imagawa clan but at a great cost. What Ono Masatsugu could not foresee was that Imagawa clan was a sinking ship especially after losing the battle of Okehazama. Both Takeda clan and Tokugawa clan simultaneously invaded Imagawa clan's territory. To Inuya castle, it was Tokugawa who came to take over the domain. It is said that Naotora fought alongside Tokugawa to take the castle back. For the next five years, Inuya castle became the subject of the conflict between Tokugawa clan and Takeda clan. Naotora sided with Tokugawa and survived a few battles although she had to retreat from Inuya castle to Tokugawa's main territory from time to time. When the peace came after the conflict ended by Takeda Shingen's death, the time had finally come for Naotora to introduce Toramatsu to Tokugawa Ieyasu. Toramatsu had already become 15 years old then. Tokugawa Ieyasu asked to serve him and gave Toramatsu a territory to govern. This was the moment all of Naotora's effort to keep the fate of E clan alive finally paid off. Toramatsu, later renamed to Naomasa, would win the fame and reputation as one of the most fearsome warriors of Tokugawa retainers. Seven years after Toramatsu met with Tokugawa Ieyasu, Naotora passed away. She rests in peace at Ryotanji Temple alongside her mother, Naochika, Hio, and Toramatsu. I hope you liked the story of Ii Naotora. If you did, please consider subscribing so you won't miss our next story.